Hey there, math fans. More Christmas math for you. When you hang a candy cane on a thin branch like this, will it be straight up and down? Or will it in some way be slightly at an angle, such as that? If you go look and try it, you'll see that it tends to be at an angle, unless the branch is thick or something else is going on. Now, I made an accurate model just so I could visually see this. And it really boils down to knowing where the center of mass is. So that's more of a physics discussion. Listen to your physics teacher. Don't trust me on any of this. Go read it on your own. I'm just about making the mathematical model and showing you some of the math. Now in calculus, we talk a lot about finding the center of mass, how we can compute it. So for something like this, I assumed that the density was uniform throughout, and then I computed the center of mass. You can do that in a few different ways. You can do it with integrals. We do center of mass many times in some of our courses, but I found it here. It was right here. So the story about this is if you draw a straight line from where you're hanging it from in the center of mass, and the center of mass is not directly below, you're going to have to tilt. It's going to tilt. Now, maybe it's sticky enough that it can overcome that. <laughs> I don't know, that's a different question. So I played around with like what happens if you move the balance point out there? Well, it's gonna have to tilt even more. <laughs> Something's funny in my animation. Um, it's hard for me to show some of the animation because um, I have so many things going on, it's, it's trying to, so I'm gonna remove my stripes just for a moment and I'm gonna show you a, th a little bit. So if you tried to hang it all the way out there near the tip, it's probably going to oscillate. In oscillating, it'll probably slip more towards the center of the hook. Um, but anyways, that's what it'd be. It'd be tilted that much. If you move the point closer to the middle, which is probably where it actually would hang, you get this slight tilt, but you've probably seen that before. So I just found that kind of interesting to think about. This gave me a model. Desmos gives you a, a good place. And that's I'm always excited to make something really accurate. Um, so when you do these calculations, center of mass, curvature, whatever you're computing in Calculus 3, go make some models yourself, and I hope you are finding this interesting, and Merry Christmas.